I don't think I could do a full interview with you without mentioning Ronnie O'Sullivan. Um, oh, yeah. What's Ronnie like? I know that's a very tough question. Uh, Cynthia, Cynthia, yeah, and I, well, I've known Ronnie. When I first moved over to England, I used to practice with Ronnie. Uh, and he was only 12 at the time, you know. Um, and what age would you have been? I was about 18. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, his dad used to send a taxi for me to go down and practice with him in the house, like, you know. And uh, a funny story about Ronnie, we used to play, like, it's the 19, then we'd come into his kitchen, have a, he'd have a little bit of lunch ready for me, or his mother would, and then we'd go back out to the garden and play another best of 19. Yeah, we had his own <laughs> snooker room at the bottom of the garden. So anyway, I was beating him. <laughs> I was beating him really badly this day, and uh, I think I beat him about 10-2 or 10 three. So he says, I can't play. He says, I can't play after lunch. He says, I've got to uh, I've got to do some homework and stuff like that. And I said, I won't be able to play yet. You know? I said, yeah, no problem. I said, we'll just have our lunch. He says, call a taxi for me and I'll be on my way, you know. So he called the taxi, um, got my cue in the car. I forgot my little cloth that I brought with me, you know. So I said, taxi, I said, hold on, I'll just run in and be back in a sec. So I came back in through the front door, down through the kitchen out into the garden, down the garden path, into the snooker room. And there was Ronnie practicing the line up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> when he was supposed to be doing his homework. You know? uh, so, How did that conversation so go? Me, uh, <laughs> Wait, was, well, when people asked me, is Ronnie O'Sullivan, is he really that good? And I said, well, look, I used to be in the entry every day. Now, he was only 12 at the time. But... <laughs> <laughs> it still it still counts in my book, you know. It still counts. It, de- it definitely still counts. But, uh, no, he's a, he's. I mean, even even at that age, he was an incredible talent, great player, and uh, well, when you, most when, talented player. When you were playing him, when when you were player. playing him at that age, did you know instantly when you were watching him? Oh, or yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I saw him. I saw him first when I, when he was only about ten or eleven. Uh, but. You could tell then he did, he did like a, a silky smooth cue action. Uh, he was making century breaks at 10 years of age, you know, which was like quite incredible. Uh, so he was like five years ahead of what I was doing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's, how, that's how good he was. Uh, and, you know, he, he, he had a great uh, temperament, a great, a great knowledge of the angles for someone so young and he had a beautiful touch, you know. So he, he was just, he had everything, you know. He was fast, you know, he was exciting to watch. And a right character. He's a sort of a, a sort of mercurial type of character as well, his persona, personality as well. So uh, you never know what you're gonna get with Ronnie. Even now today, <laughs> you don't know you don't know what you're gonna get with him. You don't know what sort of personality you're gonna meet, you know. He's sometimes really chilled out, uh, and then sometimes he's not, you know, and uh, that's just the way he is. He's had a tough he's had a tough life. Uh, there's no doubt about that but what a talent what a talent what a talent indeed I think that's the pull of it you know it's just you just don't know what you're going to get with Ronnie O'Sullivan or with a match yeah. it could end in, in, after two frames or he could you know rack up yeah. 600, 100 breaks in a row you just yeah he, he's been incredible he's been incredible for the, for the game as well you know I mean he's got such a snook, such a following you know when he plays uh you know, both from TV viewership as well as like attendances. You know, at the at the at the tournaments, he's just the. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he's he's like, he's top of the bus. Have you ever had any um, competitive moments with him? Any any competitive run-ins in the oh, dressing yeah, room? Oh I mean, yeah, I mean, look, <laughs> I mean, well, when I when I was living, I lived in that Ilford area for and played in that club for ten years. You know. I mean, some days we wouldn't practice together at all. Like we wouldn't oh, talk God. to each other. No, we wouldn't talk to each. Other. You know, we had a right, we had a right rivalry during those nineties. You know, uh, now he would have learned an awful lot from me, and I would have learned a lot from him practicing with each other. But one thing I will say is that before the World Championship in '97, we sort of put our differences aside and say, "Look, at, let's just practice for this World Championship." And uh, every day for two weeks, we played best of nineteen or two best of nineteens every single day. And we went to the World Championship that year as like sharp as tacks, like you know. And uh, he made the one four seven in five minutes twenty oh, seconds yeah, in yeah, the second yeah. round, the first round, very first round. And uh, I went on to to win the championship that year. Uh, so 
I've a lot to be thankful for, you know, for him. And but he he would have been thankful for me for yeah. a lot of uh, a lot of the experience that he would have learned from me as well, practicing there, you know. 